Hi there, Troy Harrison, and I'm coming to you from the helm of the Queen Mary, where the, this ship was guided for 30 years. Every decision that was made that got this ship safely into port over many voyages over 30 years was made right here at the helm. As salespeople, we're at the helm of our own careers. And much like the passenger shipping industry was in the 60s, the sales industry is in turmoil. It's changing very rapidly. And one of the things I see is that too many salespeople aren't changing with the times. Now the Queen Mary, obviously it's an an object, it didn't change with the times, but people changed with the times to keep the Queen Mary afloat and viable. It's here in Long Beach Harbor, and nowadays it serves as a tourist attraction and a luxury hotel, which I had the privilege of staying at these last two nights because people made the right decisions in the face of a changing passenger transport industry. Let's talk about how you can make the, the right decisions in the face of a changing sales industry or a changing sales environment. The internet has changed the world of selling much the same way that jet transportation changed the world of transatlantic passenger travel in the 50s and 60s. The internet has made our customers more sad have more access to information, both about our products and about you, and has given our customers more way to buy products that don't include us. That's a problem because some, some of our jobs are in jeopardy. So we as salespeople then have to focus on different ways of adding value to the buying process. It used to be that the way we added value to the buying process was that we were the main conduit of information about our products and services, and we're also the main way that our customers were able to order and purchase the products and services that they need. It's not that way anymore. Nowadays, our customers can completely cut us out of the buying process, so we have a duty and an obligation to ourselves, to our companies, and our customers to find ways to make the buying process better than what the customers could have done without involving us. So we've got to be prepared to provide expertise, we've got to be prepared to provide advice, we've got to be prepared to gather best practices and bring those to our customers for our customers' benefit. We've got to find ways to generate results for our customers from the use of our products and services that they couldn't have done without us being involved. And while we're doing it, we've got to toss some baggage overboard. All those old cheesy sales tactics that salespeople used to use, because they could get away with it, they had to be in the buying process. Those are gone nowadays. The takeaway the firing chorus, the monkey's paw, the double reverse inward outward question with a half twist. Get rid of all those. Instead, focus on sincere customer dialogue that is aimed at improving the customer's condition over and above what they could do without us. And we can make the right decisions. You can use your own helm of your career to guide you in the right direction. You see, in 1967, some very important decisions were made about the Queen Mary. The city of Long Beach brought it here and decided to set it up and make it a floating restaurant attraction, tourist attraction, and hotel. The hotel, by the way, is fabulous. Other ships, other contemporaries of Queen Mary, don't exist now. They were turned into paper clips, Japanese automobiles, whatever. And the reason was that people didn't make the right decisions with them. Or in some cases, they made the right decisions, but they made it too late. Some of those ships sat around for 15, 20 years after being retired from service, and then people said, hey, let's see what we can do to make this a new tourist attraction. The problem was that by then, the ships had deteriorated so badly that they were unsalvageable, so they ended up being sold for scrap. So not only is it important to make the right decisions and update what you do in your sales career, it's important to do it at the right time, so you don't let your own career deteriorate. My urging to you right now, update your sales techniques, update your sales tactics, and focus on those constant dialogues with your customers that generate the results that your customers are after. If you'd like to know more about how to do this, visit me at my website, selllikeyoumeanit.com or troyharrison.com. Pick up one of my books, Sell Like You Mean It, and that'll help you find out. If you'd like more information, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, Troy Harrison, coming to you from the Queen Mary.